What's going on? How y'all doing? This video today is going to be about the boxing match between Jack, Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley, which was a split decision which Jake Paul got. Now, Jake Paul is a big time cat on YouTube and Tyron Woodley was a former MMF uh, fighter. And it just shows you <clears throat> how people are desperate for boxing. Yeah, these guys went in the ring and they fought and went the distance. But really, what has boxing become? Now, before people say, well, you know, back in the day, they did have exhibitions. They've had all kinds of fights. Shoot, Floyd Mayweather does that all the time. But then again, Floyd Mayweather is a guy that, <clears throat> pardon me, is a real life fighter who's actually an attraction who, if he was to fight <clears throat> the male man with a, with a mace, in one hand and a dog in another, you'd pay about 20 bucks to see that because Floyd is undefeated, has his reputation. Ali used to do that thing too. So a lot of guys have done that. No biggie. But what has happened is that boxing is so watered down now that you have personalities. It's almost like celebrity boxing. And you go back in the day when Ed Tutal Jones actually tried to be a boxer and he fought some fights. And you saw some guys trying to do it, but it's a different skill set than it is being an MMA fighter and a boxer. But the bottom line is, Boxing fans have not gotten real fights. <clears throat> now, Jake Paul said he wanted to fight Canelo. I was like, good luck with that. You better just stay on YouTube and stay where you are fighting some cats that can are enough to put gloves on who can go some rounds, but they ain't really in mechanical inclined as boxers per se. Because if you fight somebody like that, you won't be be you won't be the way you are right now. But anyway, boxing has deteriorated so bad that you can't even, you know, we wanted Pacquiao and Floyd in their peak and prime. There's things we wanted. We never got. And so a lot of times, because there's so many belts and so much politics involved, you get anything and people get excited about grasping the straws for anything that looks like it might bring the juice up when actuality, you know, when you're slurping in that cup and it's just like that much of juice. But that's how desperate people are for entertainment and boxing. But them days is long gone. And this fight was lackluster, you know. But it is what happened. That's what happens in this day and time. The goodness, if you got to grow up watching the heavyweights of the 70s or the middleweights of the early 80s or even some of Tyson's run or Holyfield's run or Lennox Lewis's run or something like that or Roy Jones Jr.'s run or Floyd's run or, or uh, <clears throat> Macho Camacho or Pernell Whitaker or Sheila Cesar Chavez Floyd Mayweather, you got to see Pacquiao. You got to see some guys. Sugar Ray, and I mentioned all that. Sugar Ray Hearns, Hagler, um, Duran, you know, Wilfred Brano, Benitez. You know, you got to see Ken Norton Sr., Joe Frazier, Foreman, guys like that. Ray Shavers, you know. You got to see guys like that. But those days is long gone. They long gone. But anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about this boxing match between Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley and how boxing has been a bad joke for a long time and ain't put any money behind people and people go see, but it ain't necessarily quality. It's a lot of quantity, not quality. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another, and uh, boxing long ago had better days, but this is what you got. I'm out.